Spanish for Children The top 7 YouTube channels to learn Spanish for children through songs Hi there, Andrea here, teacher specialized in multilingualism. On this channel, I share with you tips and tricks and useful material to raise multilingual kids. So if you are new here, consider subscribing to this channel and signing up to my mailing list for free games, ideas and useful tools. Spanish is a world language. No matter if you speak it in your family or not, it is a beautiful language worthwhile teaching your children at a young age. Since I speak to my children in Spanish and live in Switzerland, I'm always looking for great material to support their language development. And I found out that YouTube has wonderful free resources, but unfortunately, not everything you find on YouTube has a high quality. And sometimes it is hard to find the jewels in the jungle. So in today's video, I'll show you the top seven YouTube channels to learn Spanish through songs for multilingual children. Why are children's songs and music channels a great resource to learn languages? Well, the text is simple to understand because it is combined with music and visual aids. Children's songs contain lots of repetition, which is essential for learning. Kids are easily captivated by the music and the cartoons. Once you and your children learn the songs, you can sing them wherever you are. Kids can memorize phrases and new vocabulary easier and faster through music. Let's get into it. So the first channel I would like to show you is called Las Pequeñas Aventuras de Juanito and I will link down below all the titles of this channel so that you can find them easily. The nice thing about this channel is that it's created by artists and musicians that uh, create music passionately for kids. So the music itself has a very high quality and also the lyrics are really well thought through. Since the vocabulary is rather challenging, it is rather suited for preschoolers and older kids. So if you scroll a little down, you'll see that they have some videos of them singing the songs. But if you scroll a little further down, you will see the first children videos that have very, very nice graphics. And let's press on one of them so you can see So you can see it um, it doesn't the graphics don't happen very fast so the kids can follow but still you have the text underneath so you can your kids can sing along if they know already how to read So the Spanish is Latin American Spanish he sings very clearly and has a good accent, so I think that's very good for learning Spanish. I'm gonna go further down and maybe choose one that is a bit slower. Una mañana, como cualquiera, cogió Juanito la carretera, montando en su bicicleta amarilla, va resonando la campanilla, con rumbo incierto, pero contento, va pedaleando por el desierto, cruza montañas, ríos, pueblitos, todos saludan al buen Juanito. So yeah, this is a channel that I could definitely recommend for your kids, for preschoolers and older kids to learn Spanish. Please hit the like button if you are taking value out of this. This is the next channel I would like to show you. It's called Super Simple Español, Canciones Infantiles y Más. Again, I will link this channel below so you can find it easily and this is a huge channel it has over one and a half million subscribers and what i love the most about this channel is that it's very very nicely organized so you can find the songs really easily in a matter of seconds so let's look a little bit closer and the beginning you have here a collection of songs so if you want your kids to watch songs 
for a half an hour or so, you can see here on the right hand side how long this compilation goes. So it's 40 minutes or 30 minutes or so. And the, the songs are randomly put together. Then if you go a little further down, you can see all the songs of Super Simple Español. And if you click um, in this section, you will find every single song they have. As you see there separately, it's, it's not a bundle. So again, if you're looking for a specific song, you can find it there. If you scroll a little further down, you'll find the, the songs about the Muppets. This song here particularly is the, the favorite one of my daughter. We're going to look into it in, in a second. Um, further down, you can find Cante y Baila con Noodle and Pulse. These cartoons here and these songs are particularly good for very young kids. Uh, I would say toddlers because they are even simpler than the others um, they, they have a lot of repetition they don't happen too fast so um, young, very young kids can understand and follow what's happening if you scroll a little further down you can find here songs about numbers and shapes here you can find a section when it is all about animals and here everything about food so about being hungry, about um, what you like and what you don't like, and so on. And in the end, you will find also a section where you can click on songs that are in English. A very nice thing about this channel is that you can find the same channel in other languages as well. If you see here, if you click here, you can subscribe to a channel that is only in English. Super simple songs, it's called in English. And I believe this is Mandarin. You can also have all of the songs in that language as well. So I think this channel is growing. It might uh, create channels in other languages in the future as well. So you could definitely um, keep on checking it and you might find it in other languages as well. So let's click on the Muppet one. Era un día soleado cuando fui hasta el mar azul. Subí a bordo de un barco pirata y el capitán me dijo vamos hacia allá, hacia acá, adelante, atrás, arriba y abajo, arriba y abajo, en el mar azul. Era un día ventoso cuando fui hasta el mar azul. So the song repeats the same thing over and over again. It still has some uh, some parts that are different, so the kids um, are still engaged. But you you can see that there it repeats again and again the same sentences, the same phrases, and that's wonderful for learning languages. For the little ones, this one is perfect. So as you can see, these songs are even simpler than the other ones. It, there is even more repetition and the phrases and the vocabulary are really easy. So it's for the youngest ones or for kids that are just starting uh, with Spanish and can't understand much yet. So yeah, that was super simple Spanish, definitely a channel worthwhile looking at. Uh, my kids love it and I love it too. Join my mailing list to get free material as I create it. The next channel I would like to show you is called Canta Juego. And this one is a Spanish channel from Spain. So you can also hear it in the way they sing. They have the Spanish accent. The very special thing about this channel is that it's not cartoons that, sh that are shown here, 
not always. There are real human beings dancing and singing along. So if you want your kids to get a bit of movement, then you could definitely let them watch some of these videos and dance along. What I wouldn't do is <laughs> let your children watch this before going to bed because then they are going to be all over excited and it will be hard to make them sleep afterwards. So let's check it out. What I normally do is I go to Lo Mejor de Canta Juego because there you have the most popular, the best videos. Um, this channel is not that well organized, but still you can find everything you're looking for if you if you give yourself a little time. So here you have the uploads, here you have created playlists, the different playlists. Um, I like to look at the popular uploads or up here the best of Canta Juegos. Let's watch this video. So yeah, the kids sing along and it's fun for once in a while. So yeah, they sing a lot of popular songs that kids might know anyway. But the nice thing is that they also dance, so the kids might like that. <laughs> Subscribe to this channel for more useful videos. This channel is called Pink Fong, Canciones Infantiles, and you might know this one because it's a very popular one, a huge channel that has over six and a half million subscribers. And the nice thing about this channel is that you can find it in several, several languages. You can see here on the right hand side, here in the, in, in the bottom, you can also find other channels that they have. So let's take a look at it. So I, I normally don't look at the first section they have. I go right away to the second one, which is similar to that other channel where you can see in this, t in this case, in the, in the left hand side, you can see how long this compilation of songs go. So if you want your kids to watch 15 minutes or 40 minutes, you can just click on one of those and the songs will play continuously and the Nice part of this is that here on the on the right hand side you can always see what is the topic. So here you have autos, planetas, dinosaurios, palabras, formas. So the bundles are organized <coughs> according to topics, numbers and so on. If you go a little further down, you have the Sings and Dance with Baby Shark. So here you have all of the songs that they created around the Baby Shark that was a huge hit all over the world. But if you're not so into the Baby Shark thing, you can go a little further down and check out all of these other compilation of songs they have. They have really cool stuff. Here you have <clears throat> Uh, like uh, life uh, life skills songs also down here what I think is very nice they have a lot of songs about planets so to show your kids everything about the universe and planets they can sing along and this section Las Recomendaciones de Ping Fong is a 
good playlist because these are like the best ones they have and they have animals, fruits, buses, dinosaurs, and baby T-Rex and so on. Here you also have ping pong in Portuguese I guess it is and also there's also a ping pong app if you want to download that. But let's click on one of those videos so you can check it out and see how it looks like. Let's press on another one. They have some for little kids as well, for toddlers or so. Let's take this one. As you can see, they also have um, the lyrics, the subtitles. So if you have kids that can already read, they can definitely sing along. And if they cannot read, it doesn't matter. They can just watch it. So that's definitely something else you could try out with your kids. The only thing I am a bit careful with with this ping pong channel is that sometimes I've noticed that the songs are very very fast paced and the kids might get a little overwhelmed with all that input they get so if you have little kids I would suggest to let them just watch this for just 10 minutes or so not longer because otherwise you could risk that they get whiny and um, and a little cranky and that might be because they are overwhelmed with all the input that they are getting. The next channel I want to show you is called Un Dos Tres Andres and it's run by a couple from Colombia. They have very different things in their channel. Sometimes it's a little hard to figure out how it's organized. I think the playlist could be organized in a better way or the descriptions could be a bit better to understand what the videos are about. But essentially you have here the most popular uploads where I tend to see what's the newest thing they have released and a thing that is really unique and I think <clears throat> also very very good is this Phonetica y Abecedario. It's all about learning how to spell no, how to write the letters, capital letters and also the small letters. So we're going to look into one of these videos in a minute. If you scroll further down, you have videos about scientific topics. For instance, here they have a video about the four seasons or about space and so on. And if you scroll even further down, you will have here past live streams that are a bit long. I never really let my daughter watch these alone. They are a bit long, as I said. So I rather stick to the other videos they have. If you are not a native speaker, you could definitely look into this section, which, which is Lunes Libros, where Andres reads books in Spanish and he combines that with music. So for my children, well for my daughter mostly, these books are already too easy, but if your child is just learning Spanish now, they could be just right for him or her. <clears throat> this, as I said, arriba abajo, I don't really know what this section is about. It sounds to me that it's really random, arriba abajo, I don't know exactly what they mean by that. Down here they have lullabies for babies. If you scroll completely down, you will find here a section with canciones tradicionales, the traditional songs like El Elefante, Los Pollitos Dicen, La Vaca Lechera, Ping Pong. Unfortunately, they don't have more of these kind because I think these videos are really nicely done. Both of them appear in the videos, but they also have a lot of visual aids and they sing along and they, and then they create a lot of high quality music that has a little bit of the Latin American touch in them. Um, so that's pretty fun. 
Hola Cristina. Hola Andrés. Niños, los invitamos a una fiesta. La fiesta, la fiesta, de la letra F. La fiesta, la fiesta, de la letra F. Tómale una foto a la letra F. Estoy muy feliz, cantemos bien fuerte. La F mayúscula es muy fácil de escribir. Empieza arriba y vas abajo. Luego hay dos líneas que van de lado. Una arriba, otra en la mitad. So I've never seen until now in any of the other channels videos that are combined with songs and music where they show kids how to write letters. So this is a very unique thing of this channel. I think it's a nice thing. So <clears throat> I use these videos with my daughter. I think they are, have a high quality and, they, and she likes to watch them. Now, if we go further down, let's check out one about the seasons. Andrés, ¿te gustan las estaciones? Sí. Vamos a cantar. Me gustan las estaciones, todas las cuatro estaciones. Me gustan las estaciones. Juego en el frío, juego en el calor. Another thing that is very good, I think, about the way they do it is that they look into the camera and so they try to <clears throat> establish eye contact with the kids and they move their mouths a lot and open their mouths quite a lot when they speak so it makes it clear for the kids to understand what they are saying. And um, another good aspect of this videos is that it's, uh, um, it's real human beings singing and talking Hola Cristina Hola Andrés Hola niños Vamos a cantar Los pollitos dicen pío 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 cuando tienen hambre cuando tienen frío la gallina busca el maíz y el trigo les da la comida as you can see the drawings are very neat and I think the kids would love to watch it so that was Un, Dos, Tres, Andre last but not least is the channel Tobis Español. This channel is in Spanish from Argentina. You can hear it sometimes when they sing. They say yo instead of yo, but that doesn't matter. The Spanish is good. And if you go a little further down, you can see here created playlists. Here's everything you need to know. The greatest hits of Spanish songs, the most common ones. Then they have other, other cartoons, Tobis y Leoncito, and karaoke songs and songs for babies and songs to have fun. If you scroll down, you will find a category with all of their songs, the most popular uploads and again the karaoke ones. And down here you have other channels in other languages. At the moment they have English, Portuguese, Italian and Spanish. A mi burro, a mi burro le duele la cabeza y el médico le ha dado una gorrita gruesa, una gorrita gruesa, mi burro enfermo está, mi burro enfermo está. They sometimes have a slightly different version than than the typical uh, kids songs. Sometimes a different lyric or the rhythm or the song itself is a bit different, but I don't think that matters much. So that was a mi burro le duele la cabeza. Let's watch another one, maybe let's see one of the karaoke ones. Cinco monitos, 
se volvió Mamá llamó al doctor y el doctor aconsejó No más monos saltando en la cama Cuatro monitos saltando en la cama As you can see, there they have a little ball that jumps according to how fast they sing the song. I think this is really nice because it can help the kids a lot to read along and sing along. So yeah, but if you know this song, you will realize that they have a different version. The song sounds even completely different than the original one. But personally, it doesn't bother me. I think it's good if kids hear different kinds of songs, different <coughs> versions of the same song. The baby songs are more songs to go to sleep. So... Hope you like the seven channels with great Spanish music if you did and if you have some other ideas of where we can find nice material for Spanish speaking kids please give me your thoughts in the comment section thank you so much for watching please like share and subscribe this was multilingual family keep on doing a great job and talk to you soon